In this video, I'll show you how you can set up an automation that watches out for new emails in your Gmail inbox with attachments and then upload those attachments to a Google Drive folder automatically. I'm using a service called make.com for this and you can also really refine your queries to only upload certain file types or where you have assigned a label to that invoice within Gmail. So let's get started with a blank scenario in make.com. I'm just going to type in Gmail and select watch emails. I also go through this process in our Gmail to Google Sheets automation, which you can check out in the description as well. But overall, when you're setting up a new connection, click the add button here and a new pop-up will show up. Just go through the process for that and allow access. If you have a personal Google account, the steps are a little bit more convoluted for that. So there are guides online for how to set that up. Overall, once you have a connection, then just click here to choose. And I'm going to select inbox. To start with, I'm going to enter in a Gmail filter here. Go to Gmail and you see the search feature up here. You can use this to create pretty specific search criteria for the kind of emails that you want to pick up. And in Gmail, you can chain these together. So what I'm doing here is if the email contains the word invoice in it in the email subject or in the text in the email, this automation will only pick up emails where the word invoice is somewhere on the email and where it has an attachment and where it has an attachment with a file name of PDF. However, I also want to have the option to be able to manually assign emails that should be picked up by this automation as well. Maybe invoice was not in the name. So even if an email does not have the word invoice in it, you can move any emails you want into this folder. And as long as they have an attachment and as long as the file name is PDF on one of those attachments, then it should pick up the email. Okay, so I'm going to press OK and I'm going to only process emails from now on. So it's not going to pick up you know, thousands of emails previously. You can separately choose to select from a certain date or from the very first email. But with this maximum number of search results, I'm selecting one. So every time I press run once, it's only going to pick up one email. So it's not going to go picking up thousands at once. Now I've gone to Google Drive and I want to post all of the attachments directly into this folder, as you see here. Next up, we want to move these files to Google Drive. So I'm going to select upload a file. When I go down here, and select file name. I see there's a list of attachments here, but this is in an array form. And that's because you can have multiple attachments in one email. So what we need to do is use an iterator to iterate through every single one of those attachments. It's actually a pretty simple use case of an iterator within make.com. Sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. So I've selected my iterator here and then simply select attachments, press okay. Now that we have this iterator in place, it automatically maps the file from the iterator through this. So all we need to do now is just select the folder that we want within Google Drive. So I'm just going through the folder locations here. So that is the folder that we want. Select OK, press OK and save. Now I'm going to choose where to start, select from now on just to make sure. OK, so I've just sent myself an example attachment here. It has the word invoice in the subject and I've attached a PDF. OK, now I'll test out this scenario. I'll press run once. It's gone through that. It looks OK. And I've gone to Google Drive. I can see it's pushed that file to Google Drive. One other thing that would be good to add in here, I'm going to select this part of the flow, which is to add a filter and select this type and where it's equal to application PDF. So I effectively only want to upload PDF documents to Google Drive. So this will work for as many attachments that you send in an individual email as possible. If you want to take this a step further, then check out the link in the description where I've gone through a more extensive kind of version of this type of system where it's processing through the files after they've been placed onto Google Drive. In this case, it's extracting the data and adding that to a Google Sheet, but you can customize these kind of systems however way you want. If you want to get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then check out the link in the description to our community. We will get access to all of our automation templates. You'll get instant access to all of these courses with more on the way. You can get support from us via our live workshops and through our active discussion boards.